Hey everybody, this is Renee from The Space Between, and you are listening to The Space Between Podcast, the show that lets you listen to how the fans feel about the music, the art behind over 30 years of the Dave Matthews Band. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Space Between Podcast, the podcast where we talk about the fans of the Dave Matthews Band. So each week I have a new fan story to tell us their voyage with the Dave Matthews Band, but also outside of that, what has their life looked like being part of the family of the Dave Matthews Band? So today I have Matt and Rebecca on the show. Guys, thank you so much for being on The Space Between. Can you tell us who you are, where you're from, and then later we'll talk about how you guys met. So let's keep our stories just real like tight and then we'll talk about how they came together. So tell us who you are. Um, Rebecca, um, I'm from New Jersey, grew up in New Jersey, been a fan of Dave for 23 years, 24 years. A long time, a long time. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, long time. Um, I'm Matt. Um, I'm sitting in my room in, in Raleigh, North Carolina. Um, originally from North Carolina, grew up here. Um, I've been a fan of Dave since I heard uh, Ants on on the radio in '93, and that's what got me hooked, and went from there, and then never looked back. So Ants is what got you hooked, Matt. Rebecca, do you remember the moment? that you were hooked and you were you were going down with the ship and you were on the road to where you are now what what did it for you um I'd have to say it was listening to two step um in a friend's truck with my sister Christina my sister Christina was integral in uh getting me to listen to Dave but it was definitely two step and I had never heard anything like it before. It blew my mind and the song ended and I said, I need to hear that again. And that was it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. And you've never stopped. Has there been any breaks? Like for me, there were some breaks, I think, in my day voyage, just because kids and life and things that happened that kind of took me (laughs) away more from music than I am now or even was before kids. So was there, did you have any breaks in your day life, I guess? I totally had some Dave breaks in my life. Um, I had one big one there um, in my 20s where I didn't go into any shows for a good solid couple of years. Um, those were pr- probably my bar days um, where I was I was also working retail a lot. And um, it just, I don't know, I just didn't really, didn't listen to him a lot. Um, right. And then, I don't know, something flipped again. Yeah. And and that flip got switched and it and I never got turned back off. <laughs> exactly. And hopefully it won't, right? <laughs> yeah, never again. <laughs> I mean, for me, um, you know, growing up with Dave and he's, you know, they the, the band has got me through a lot. I think I hit my my pause, if you will, on the band for a little bit. When I was in 14, 15 years old, I kind of you know, found my roots back into my rock and metal scene. And she'll tell you, there's a lot of, of metal music that a lot of people don't realize that I listen to. And I can diversify. It's not just jam bands. It's like, I'll go from Dave to Corn to Disturbed and then back to like 311. You know, I have a very diverse yeah. music. And just because I don't dress in all black doesn't mean I can't get down with a sickness, you know, so. That's right. That's right. <laughs> she can't That's stand it. But I mean, it's my thing. <laughs> I love to talk about what other people listen to because, I, you know, I also listen to other music outside of the Dave Matthews band, right? Like, that's not the only thing I listen to. Yeah. My favorite band, if you were to ask me, like, what's your favorite band? Of course, Dave Matthews band. But so, uh, Rebecca, what do you listen to when you're not listening to the Dave Matthews band? Like, I always like to see, Um, are, are there other similarities in our music preferences? I listen to a lot. I do listen to a lot of, like, rock and classic rock stuff. Um. On the other end of that, I listen to a lot of, like, top 40 music, believe it or not. No shame in that. (laughs) There's so many amazing artists Um, that are just coming out, and right? Like, it's it's, it's like a thing that always is happening is there's there's so much good music, right? So I don't ever want to be caught in just, like, a one lane, like, 
you know, I love the Dave Matthews band, but there's a yeah. lot of good shit out there, right? And like all different mm -hmm. genres of music. And mm -hmm. my my children keep me on the road to keeping my ears open because they're listening yeah. to the Dave Matthews band. They're listening to all of these things and a lot of them are really, really good. I mean, I'm a big Taylor Swift. I, I don't care what the world I, says. I love Taylor Swift. I, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I have no shame in inventing that either. I've oh, always Wendy. loved finding um, new music. I've I've always had an ear for finding um, artists and bands years before they've <laughs> gone kind of mainstream. Yeah. Um, my family's always been really great at keeping us listening to um, really like the old school stuff. Um, so I still listen to a lot of old school stuff. Um, but my yeah, my music, uh, my iTunes lists are crazy. That's they good, they yeah. just span I and I so I'll listen to rap and I'll listen to country and um but I also love listening to just regular just piano music. So I listen yeah. to the whole gamut. So. Good, good, good. So I want to talk about how in the world you guys met. So let's <laughs> talk about that. So I know it all I, I've heard this story just briefly earlier today. So tell us, how in the world did you find each other? Did you know each other outside of the Dave Matthews Band? So t give it, paint us a picture of how in the world you guys are in the same room today. Um, First of all, this sounds like a broken record because we say we tell the same story and a lot of people ask how we met. <laughs> so I'm going to let her start and then I'll, I'll try to pick yeah, up Yeah, I'll so. tell it because I tend to tell it a little better than he does. <laughs> yeah, and I, um, of course. <laughs> she, she does, of course. So there are a lot of people who know about the Facebook group, which is the DMB um, Tour 2023 group. Um that was originally um, for the opening weekend um, when they came back to tour in 2021. 21, um, yeah. It was specifically for opening weekend in Raleigh. Raleigh. Mm -hmm. And this guy right here was super active in the group um, because he grew up down here. And um, I, I scoped him out a little bit. <laughs> and... Uh, I, 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 I had been, I was going to be driving down with my sister because um, that was always my concert buddy. Mm -hmm. And um, I was definitely taking his advice on stuff. and um, like Where to eat, where, where to stay, to what to do in your free time. So I was like playing host to yeah. everybody yeah. that's not from he here. Did, he did right. a lot of stuff like, for like a lot of people yeah. that weekend. And um Ended up also going to, we had originally only been down for Raleigh, ended up being gifted tickets for Charlotte as well. Um, we did not meet up that weekend. Um, I probably would not have given him the time of day that weekend because I was not the... <laughs> yeah, I was not in that mindset that weekend. No. And, I, was, and I, I, was, I was in a different yeah. realm, if you will, that yeah. weekend too. So, sure. But... Um, I, lo and behold, months later, we did figure out that I had taken a, um, a picture of the back of his head standing in the pit um, at Charlotte, which we still think is Funny. pretty, pretty cool. But um, I'd say about three weeks after that show, we were talking and we had been talking a little bit, not, not back and forth and stuff. And um I had posted about something in that Raleigh group and just, yeah, we were going back and forth and he randomly Facebook video, video. chatted me for the record, out of the blue. I, I was at the Virginia beach show two years ago in the parking lot, getting ready to go in. And I was like, let me give her a call real quick. And then that's, and that, that's and the first time we actually saw each other. And she's kind of off camera like oh, I didn't answer this? on the phone. I answered <laughs> yeah. off video because I was so weirded out. I was like, who is this weirdo? Like yeah, right? <laughs> calling me out of the blue. It's, it and at a Dave show calling her. So the I mean, first thing I ever said to him was, Are we doing this now? <laughs> right now. <laughs> and he and he and he said, Yeah, we're doing this. And I was like, Okay. I'm and um, yeah. we have <laughs> 
<laughs> we've spoken every single solitary yep. day since then so oh my that was so you that was it you you dated for how long so when did you what year was this that you started officially dating um august 28 2021 okay. yeah okay. but it took 20, it took three yep. months for us to meet in person and that was me semi begrudgingly getting on a plane to go see a man because you know <laughs> women shouldn't do that or whatever um <laughs> should be cautious and, doing that yeah <laughs> yeah yes so and, she, um, she sent out alerts to all of her family of where I, she was I and just you know some things yeah. out and I said I'm getting on this plane to go meet this guy and um it's like a and hammer I alert did. and right. we wore matching Dave shirts all weekend <laughs> I still have I have the first picture we ever took together at a local bar down the street. Yeah. Well, because of magic, if you guys are watching this on our YouTube channel, you're going to see that picture on your screen. So if you're listening to this on a podcast, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. It's just the space between podcasts on YouTube channel. So thanks for sending us those pictures, Matt and Rebecca. You're welcome. So yeah, it's been, I remember getting home from that trip and I was fine the whole way home and I walked into my apartment and I burst into tears because I was like, I'm totally screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm a smitten kitten. And that was, yeah. The, that the, was the old hook, line and sinker, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. So, it worked. All of it. It worked. And, and, so, yeah. and here you are. <laughs> yeah, here yeah. we are. So, and we're totally, we are such a Dave couple. Like we've we been to countless shows together and you know we do like the silly singing dave songs to each other well, and we, we have our songs that we want to that we we dedicate when we're at a show we hear a song like yeah. our song to each other for me is crush like we hear that i just want to dance with her and twirl her around and Aww. you know just do all the things yeah. and yeah you know I, I i knew after we first met like um i, I had to <laughs> to keep seeing her so that's why i got a job at our local airport for the airlines and for almost wow. two years that's how we kept in touch. Just I would fly her to me, me fly to her, yeah. and um, we we've just done so many Dave Dave things together. From you know going to shows, we actually met Dave. We met Dave during together Friday last year when he came, um, when came to Raleigh, which was Friday. insane. Uh, it was so cool, and I'm so happy that I got to do it with him. Like, wow. I thank God I was there because he sat there frozen he didn't yeah move. he actually signed signed my wrist i don't know if you guys can see it this little signature no down here way. Look signature at that. yeah yeah yep. so wow. it was yeah yes, it's been awesome so. that's amazing so guys again if you're watching this on youtube you can see matt's wrist where dave signed it and it, he just of course you gotta have that shit tattooed on you when he signs i mean like, it was like amazing yeah yeah you go, you go sure. and get that shit tattooed on so guys we're gonna take yeah. a brief break so because it's almost christmas time we're going to highlight some Dave fans that provide wonderful services for you to maybe get ahead and get some Dave stuff for all your Dave family. So guys, we're going to take a short break and let you listen to one of the DMB fans commercials. So stay tuned. Hi, my name's Star. I'm the owner of SW Design Concepts. I have a small business located right outside of Springfield, Illinois. We offer several custom items for everyone on your shopping list. From timeless to trendy, classy to sassy, whatever your shopping needs are. If it's one person or if you want to order in bulk for your business, we have you covered. Our insulated drinkware is our number one seller. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me directly or stop by our website at swdesignconcepts.com. We have a little something for everyone. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you for listening to that commercial from Star. So, Rebecca, tell us everything about meeting Dave at Farm Aid. Uh, Walk us through how that happened and when it happened. Were you able to, like, tell him what you wanted and what did you want to tell him? Um, so, we didn't meet him at Farm Aid. We actually met him the night before. Um, I it, at an undisclosed location, I'll say. Yes. Um, my back was actually turned to him, and this guy over here <laughs> was facing him, and he <laughs> absolutely froze, and his lips barely moved, <laughs> and basically said, "Keep talking," 
And I was like, what? Because I could barely see what he was saying. Yeah. And he said, Dave just walked in. And I turned around and there he was. And um, he was just about to disappear around a corner. And I finally stood up. I, I, believe, I, I think, I, yeah, I stood up. And I said, um, I was like, Dave. And he had just disappeared around the corner and he popped his head back over. So it was just this much of Dave's head around the corner. Right. And I kind of went, can I, can I come over? And he did the same thing to me. Ooh. And he went like this. And I said, yeah, can we come over? And he goes, yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> So we come back and mind you, this guy, I don't even know what at this point, he's like an entity behind me. I'm not really <laughs> sure what's going on. Just like a block. And um, <laughs> so I, I go to walk out, out to him and um, we're in like kind of an awkward area um, in this hallway. And uh, I say, you know, th thank you so much for stopping and letting me come over. And he's like, oh, sure. You know, it's no problem. And I said, I know it's really late. I just want to say thank you so much. Um, I couldn't tell you what I wanted to say at that point, because at that point it was 1000% an out of body experience for me at yes. that point. It, it really, I don't, I don't know about anybody else. Um, but for me, it was like, holy mother of God, there he is. Right. Um, it really is astonishing once he's in front of you <laughs> because he has such a warm, loving presence about him. Mm -hmm. Um, and you also, in my mind, it was very late. It was about 1130 at that point. And in my mind, I'm thinking you're wearing the same clothes that you were photographed this morning at 8 30 in the morning in and he's I'm a like practical it, guy he's a practical <laughs> guy he's also been at farm aid setting up all day long and I really don't want to take up too much of your time right so right my words were just like blah, 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 sure. out of my face um but I think I just said like I don't know like I love you music. I yeah. got that feeling and then I said we're volunteering for farm aid tomorrow and he said oh my gosh thank you so much for volunteering and I was like would you mind if we took a picture and this is the best part of the whole story and he said yeah and he said you know we should probably move a little and he wrapped his arm around my waist <laughs> and we did we did a little shuffle dance around to get a better angle so that Matt could take a picture and I of the two of us. <laughs> of you and Dave, not so, Matt and you. No, Dave yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm sorry. I just it just brought me back to me shuffle dancing with Dave's arm around my waist, and every time I fell in, the only, the only other man I'm allowed to put his arm around her. Yeah, so we did this little shuffle dance, and I died inside. Um, and then this guy goes to take a picture with him and he's so got my, his glasses, glasses on, like, like right? This, right? And so does Dave. Okay. And I think how adorable they're both blind. They have their glasses on, but this guy with his anxiety, like all over the place, there's a table, like nine feet away from us against the wall. And he takes his glasses off and he chucks them across the room. <laughs> and Dave no, gives me not. this look with his <laughs> eyebrows, because shoots his eyebrows up to his face. And he's like, what is wrong with this guy? He literally follows like, the glasses from the throwing to the table. He's like. Yeah. And he, I look at it crazy? and we both look at each other and we're like, I don't even know. Just like, just let's get the picture taken. He's my you know? boyfriend. He's so weird. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. And mind you, and the whole time that we're talking, Matt is standing behind me. So Dave and I are talking, but Dave's eyes keep on well, shutting over back. my You're shoulder. Like, like who's this strange fellow who's just standing, lurking yeah. behind you, white as a ghost, not saying anything? I'm like, that's my honey. He's frozen. <laughs> and 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 he can't say a damn thing right now. And I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> Hi, Dave. I'm Matt. I'm volunteering, too. That's and all I he, said. Yeah. All of a sudden, he jumps in. He's like, Dave, like I see Dave, like, his little light goes off in his head, like, oh, this fellow's with you, I see. You know? Like, it was... Random weirdo back there. It, it was so <laughs> funny. You.
he wants a picture yes he's yeah he, he loves you too dave and mind you who is standing behind dave but freaking john, john mellencamp. mellencamp oh oh so did and you get so, a chance to speak or were you like no, no i was too enamored with the fact that dave matthews was standing in front of me forget the fact then- that John Mellencamp is standing right there. And right. I wa- I walked away and I'm like, oh my God, I'm such an asshole. John Mellencamp was just standing right there. <laughs> I'm sure then, I'm sure he's kind of used to it, right? Like I mean, John- I know, but <laughs> my older siblings were very disappointed in me. <laughs> well, I'm sure. I'm, you can only meet but, so many celebrities in one day, right? I know. Um then I'm on my on the phone with my sister who's crying because I got to meet Dave before she did Aww. and Timmy walks down the wall the hall and he's like <laughs> so I got Dang. blessed by Timmy and then, and then I get my picture with Dave and then Dave's walking away and like oh, the smart right. one I am right I'm like he's about to walk away I said I I, I turn from him and I'm like wait a minute I'm like Dave one more thing he's like he just looks at me he's like yes pull a sharpie out of my pocket that I already had planned in case we met him I said do you mind signing my wrist real quick He's like, sure. And I pulled my sleeve up so we could see my aunt dancer tattoo right oh, there. I love it. And then he signs right underneath, like right in oh here. So oh the next God. day during like So halfway through Farm Aid, yeah, well, Farm Aid, we're calling tattoo shops and, and we went off and, and found this so. and we ended up finding this incredible tattoo artist to do his tattoo in the middle Amazing. of Farm Aid. Amazing. Yeah. What an yeah, unplanned tattoo, but what a great tattoo, right? Like yeah, yes, yeah. You know. So awesome. that, that was our meeting Dave story. So it was it was, our, it was we have a, sure. a very good farm aid story to tell. A very yep. good farm aid story. Definitely. So guys, yeah. we only have about nine minutes left. So I have okay. a really important question and a story that I want you guys to tell everyone because 2023, yeah. and we've talked about this in several podcast episodes this year, but 2023 was a banner year for the band for so many reasons. It was an album release year. The tour was more than we could have ever wished for. And it's still, you know, it's still going. Like we just got off fall, but yet we're, you know, they're going to South Africa and they're doing all of these things. But 2023 was a banner year for you guys. And Matt, I'm going to let you tell us why 2023 was such a special year for you guys. Man, uh, 2023 has been really good to us. Uh, We did our first show our first and only show of the summer tour in Wilmington a new venue we've never been to (laughs) excuse me and that was actually a special uh special time because I knew that what I wanted to do during the show that week was either going to be done there or done with her family and I said what better place to do it than how we met through Dave is to do it um in Wilmington so night one was incredible we had great seats in the middle you know wonderful show night two that afternoon I had the idea to you know want to go to sound check to watch you know on on the river walk to watch the band perform or practice and you know I was working that that morning and came home I was like come on we got to get up we got to get up and mind you me and a few other uh Dave family members had this planned and Another family member, uh, Jess Filler, and I had been talking of like really putting this together. She she went out to the party store and got the sash and the uh, confetti and the tiara. She was going to do balloons, but I said, no, that would give it away too much. If you bring a balloons to a sound check, she'd be like, okay, what's up? <laughs> yeah. So I'd come bursting in the house where we're staying. And um, I'm like, hey, we got to get up. Uh, we got to go to sound check, you know, because it's it's starting soon and I don't want to miss it. She's like, uh, okay. And we're wearing our matching t-shirts from the night before and she has no makeup on. Looks no, disheveled. he dragged me out of the house with no makeup on. Oh. It, it, it's like dragging your favorite baby doll that was just washed through the mud. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, so we're going down there and we're bringing our, our housemate with us who who is also in the DMB group, um, Katie Ann. And, who uh, also uh, just also happened met to Dave, met a, like a meet couple Dave hours ago before two we, hours before. That's so crazy. then we're driving, yeah. So then we're driving down to to the Riverwalk, parking, heading down. And the whole time I'm like, just go ahead, because she's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, nothing, just just. And go I'm walk walking with ahead with Katie, like, what, Matt? What's Matt? Where? Why is Matt all the way back there? She's like, don't worry. And 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 I'm uh, on the phone with our sister in New Jersey, like, hey, this is what's going on. She's like, oh my goodness. So I had her on. You know, I had her on video chat, <laughs> excuse me, 
when we got down there. So we're hanging out down at the dock and I had the ring in my, um, my cargo short pocket right here, you know, obviously, you know, in the box. And then, you know, we're all taking pictures together, doing our thing. And then the girls are taking the pictures together and I walk off for a minute to kind of let the girls do their thing. And then finally I come back in the fold behind, right behind her and the girls disperse. And then Jess comes up and grabs her like this. Like and forcefully turns like, me around. Turns her around to face me. And I place my hands on it like this and bring her, her closer to me and just tell her, you know, that how much I love her and that, you know, it's been two incredible years and, um, that I just wanted to spend the rest of my life with her and she's been amazing. And, you know, I think we all know what happens after that. I get down on one knee and I ask her, um, you know, if, if she'll spend the rest of her life with me. Yeah. It was awesome. Oh I God, had, were you totally floored? Like I, I, no I was, I was completely and utterly clueless, completely and utterly clueless. I had no idea um Jess actually ended up having my sister Christina on FaceTime on her phone the entire time the entire I had no idea no idea oh yeah oh it God. was unbelievable it was unbelievable and yeah, I wanna... th there was a guy who is down there who figured out what was a complete stranger who com uh, figured out what was going on and videoed the entire thing. He yeah, took pictures yeah. and, and took did the pictures. pictures. So we have the whole thing on video as well. No way. So because you just said that, guys, if they're get will you give us access to the video? Sure. Yeah, I will, I'll, we'll, we'll, <laughs> send right. we'll send it. So yeah. another reason to watch the YouTube channel because we're gonna <laughs> insert that video, guys, of them getting engaged at Wilmington. So I yeah. will say that I met you guys shortly after your engagement just by happenstance right so yeah did, we met long. that night right and i yes, that's we did. what yeah. stuck out to me was that you both were literally like we just got engaged and i was like what you know, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah uh, uh I, I cannot even imagine how exciting that was for you but then you know not only did you just get engaged but then that oh my god it's so so pretty uh, so, i love it <laughs> explain your feelings going through the show after something like that happens and were there any songs that night that just stood out because of what had happened um I think it was just <clears throat> what really got to me and and when I think back about it too was like just the absolute outpouring of love from everybody that night was incredible um and just that weekend in general, um, night one, we were gifted tickets and what we thought were going to be lawn tickets. And we ended up being gifted way better seats than we ever could have been imagined. Um, yeah. And then we were also gifted tickets um, the second night as well. So that alone was floored us and then wow. just the general love that we felt that night and the rest of the weekend from everybody and the the few weeks afterwards as well and like we got a shout out on the on uh um, gorge group on the gorge group page they yeah. had never done that for an, like engaged an engaged couple, couple before wow um so it was just it was overwhelming and mm. in the just most beautiful way and um I still think about it and um yeah it, it really it's an amazing it story well. yeah yeah <laughs> it, and, and it, that's it, that's what this show is all about is like obviously yeah. the common tie of all of us is that we love the Dave Matthews band but the story yeah. for me really is yeah. you know this family of people who have you know you met each other through the Dave Matthews band right. and then when it came through you know all of the dating you had Dave Matthews bands all around you because they because they become family right and ultimately y'all yeah. are y'all are taking your family level to a new height like it's going to be yeah. to a, like marriage family and I yeah. will just yeah. bet anything that at your wedding if you if you have people there there will be Dave Matthews band fans there they're, again because they're, they're yes, family they're right? yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. We're going to pick a show um, next year um, as kind of our 
free wedding a free wedding yes. dash show um to be able to make sure that like everyone who's who's nagging us about the wedding <laughs> we can say all right this is our wedding show yes. so come yes. party and um so there will be that for sure next summer um, celebrate we, we want to we want to yes, exactly yeah. we want to we want to celebrate at a show with everybody and we did get yeah. crushed that night by the way the night we got we, gave, we got crushed, we got no crushed that night even so better we got a yeah we got a lot of songs that weekend um we got a, a lot of songs i think that you got weekend. ants that, that night too so which, you know. it was it was a, it was a beautiful weekend it really what was what a fairy so. tale really and so yeah. again it's just crazy you know you you start out as a fan you love this band and then you know what comes with this band is again just so much more and i i will continue to tell the story of the fan life because it it's yeah. so many layers deep right like it yeah it is you know, we, I've, I've talked with it people is. who are getting married i've talked with people who have lost their loved ones and their support was the dave matthews band family yeah. so it's like from everything that you can pull in life these people have had a group around them just loving on them and 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 becoming family right and so yeah it's such an important story that i think that needs to be told um and so thank you guys for telling your story because it's an incredible one i don't i haven't had anyone on this show yet that got engaged so congratulations for being the very first one Yay. Yay. thank you <laughs> you know it's crazy what you go ahead. I was I would say what what started in Raleigh two years ago as a a dream as as a whim whatever you want to call it ended in Wilmington right back in North Carolina, you know two years later with a ring and a, a forever and you know next year we'll be hopefully back in the Raleigh area for the 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 finale if you will with with the wedding and it's it's crazy how how the the cycle goes you know what started as strangers turned to lovers turned to best friends turn to you know lifelong and and that's what what I I, I wanted and that's what she wanted and and yeah. we, we looked at what we've both been through in the past and I think that's what brought us closer in the fact that Dave was the centerpiece for yeah. for the love to to help us heal to help us grow and to help us you know continue on as as one instead of you know two individuals so yeah. I love that. I really I believe love that. that so yeah. much. So what I hear you saying is anyone that loves you and wants to be a part of all of this, we need to plan to be in North Carolina next year in 2024. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. A little bit, yeah. Because yes, we've yeah. got family all around the United States. Yeah, so we do. Plan yep. to be another place we have to be in 2024 is North Carolina at some point, yes. right? <laughs> Indeed. Well, guys, thank you both so much for thank being you, on the Renee. show. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. If you are listening to this on a podcast app, just know, again, you can watch this on our YouTube channel. And then also be sure to follow us on social media. That's where you can find out what episodes are coming up. And we've got some good ones coming. Um, of course, it is. We've just celebrated our one year anniversary here at The Space Between. So we're going to celebrate for the next couple of months. So be sure to check us out on Facebook. It's a group under The Space Between podcast. And then on Instagram, we're at The Space Between underscore POD. And guys, like, if you can, if you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and like because that's how we know that you are watching these things. So again, Matt and Rebecca, thank you so much for being part of the show, guys. Stay tuned. Next thank Friday, you. we will Thanks have another us. story of the Dave Matthews band fan so guys in the meantime peace love and dave matthews band